Hello, and welcome back to Wing Commander 3! So, if you watched the last couple episodes, you saw there were more audio problems. I think I figured out what's going on. For some reason, every now and then when I open OBS, it decides to just not work. Like, it'll record everything, except the audio. And I don't know why. All I gotta do is close it and reopen it, and it seems to work just fine from there. Fingers crossed. Anyway, last time, we ended with Hobbs arguing with Cobra. You know, because she's a huge racist. And this time, we're getting called to the bridge, probably to get chewed out. I don't know what for, but that's just my usual response to people calling for me. Just fear. I don't know why I'm not skipping. All our comm systems have been jammed. And guess who's behind it? Come on, Lieutenant, don't tell me you can't do anything. I'm trying, sir, but it looks like some kind of video virus, or should I say worm? Ah, this looks like a major debug. I have read your Terran Bible with its predictions that there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It is about to be fulfilled. We will tear your tongues out. We will scoop out your brains. It ain't all they'll do if they ever get their paws on us. You will be prime examples to the other races in the galaxy and clownish baboons for our amusement. For baboons, we sure have been getting our shots in, Senor Gato. Your race will suffer a thousand torments and more. Do not be emboldened by the presence of the heart of the tiger among you. Colonel Blair will be reduced to a pile of entrails. I will see to it personally that you pay for every noble Gilrathi who has died at your hands in combat. I leave you and your miserable comrades to contemplate your ignoble futures. <laughs> I didn't know you and he had a history. Yeah, Thrakath and I've gone a few rounds. Seems to have a special nickname for you. It's news to me, Captain. An honor I could do without. You ask me, the cats are running a little scared. Uh, perhaps our incursion into Ariel has something to do with that. Hobbs! Gerasi believe always that war is psychological. It is a contest of wills as much as women. Talking trash is all I call it. It is the politics of superiority. Or perhaps one of my race's more admirable social constructs. Social construct. A pack of animals with admirable social constructs. Captain, we have a crafty force heading our way. I think they came through that last jump point. It doesn't look like they're running scared, sir. I'll see you in the briefing room. So, that was that message that uh, Thrakath mentioned last time. Quite a bit to it, eh? And uh, seems like it kind of freaked Maniac out. We should talk to him. And then I have thoughts that I already forgot about that I wanted to talk about with the, uh, that, that scene there. I'll try to organize them while Ain't this happens. we the lucky ones? First a nebula, now an asteroid belt. I mean, we seem to be flying into one damn obstacle course after another. Well, look on the bright side, maniac. Which is... Dragon. This is actually, I believe, the very first opportunity you get to not be a dick to maniac. <laughs> It's tough for both. It ain't any easier on the Kilrathi. They gotta navigate through it, too. I don't know. Sometimes I think they got eyes in the back of their head. Weird cat thing. I think that if you, if you pick the rag on him option, that Blair just remarks that Maniac's odds of being killed by friendly fire have gone down. 
due to the odds, he will crash into a giant space rock. Yeah, you can you can do some you can say some pretty horrible things to Maniac in this game. Anyway, what was I going to talk about? It was something to do with that. Uh, it was something to do with that scene, but I cannot for the life of me remember now. Weird. It was something important too. Oh well. And uh, Flash is pretty freaked out. I don't know, he seemed kind of busy. Do you, do you, do you think uh, might be his private time? Yeah, fuck it. They can close the goddamn jump points? What's next? I, I mean, they got us between their paws. It's just a question of time now. I don't know if they can close the jump points. Theory has it they just cloaked one. To think. The only reason I'm here is because I lost a goddamn bet. See where shooting off your mouth gets you. See, this is why gambling is bad for you kids. Don't, don't play any of the any of the sports games released in the past like five to about five years dating this video. Because uh, you could get sent off to fight in a in a space war. Or you will most likely die. Man, the, the hitbox for the simulator is huge. Never noticed that before. Anyway, on to the briefing. Ah, Colonel, I hope you're not pretty much stock in all that hot air the Thrak calf decided to blow our way. No, sir. Good. Headquarters pretty sure the Karathi have a special device and aerial that enabled them to use nebula gases to throw a curtain over that jump point. Now, Confair thinks Ariel is the only system where they have this capability, since that's where they carried on so much of their convoy traffic. Well, that's good news. I don't feel like running into many more closed doors. <laughs> well, obviously the Prince's transmission was a good indication they're coming after us hot and heavy. So, we're going to split from our escorts once we enter this nebula, and you're going to protect these two destroyers. Navigation is located a new jump point inside the nebula, which we can use for our retreat once we've taken out enough of our pursuers. Give it your best, Colonel. Dismiss. So, these are... Hmm. So, what do you say we, uh, after, 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 after we've been a huge prick to Maniac, like we didn't be a huge prick, man. I completely lost my train of thought there. I was, I was lost in thought trying to remember what the hell I wanted to talk about with that thrack ass scene. It's gone. Let's haze maniac because we gotta balance out the universe after we're after we're nice to him. And he is just going to town. Maniac, you're gonna be my wingman. Don't make me regret it. Dismiss. Ugh, no. Ugh. That's better. if I'm a little more terrible than usual. I did the unthinkable yesterday and exorcised. So I'm kind of sore now because I'm in unspeakably awful shape. <laughs> it's party time. Tap on that. Break and attack. I learn, Colonel. Forget that. Every single time. Setting your weapons. Enemy target destroyed. Setting your weapons is almost as important as uh, setting your power. Or kitty litter. <laughs> that was quick. But, uh, 
You don't want to spend the, the entire mission with a huge chunk of, of spiderweb glass right in your face. It's bad enough that everything's tinted this horrible purple. Why, why, why are the, uh... Break and attack. Watch and learn, <laughs> Colonel. Why are the, um, the, the nebulous purple? Is that like a space thing? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not too big on space. I mean, yeah, I've seen Star Trek. Like, I've seen pretty much the entirety of TNT, like, 45. Like, even so, I think I'd say myself a space aficionado. And now the supposed to be hard. I don't know why. I never kind of had a lot of trouble with the stories. I always thought there's such a huge slow target. The little bats on the other hand, you see how they kick my ass. Mission objectives accomplished. Really? That was it? Okay. I, ju I guess we're done. Need clearance, oh. TCS Victory. And that'll teach the rack half to crash bid us. You're clear to land, Colonel. <laughs> I got way too close to his teeth just now, and I'm not happy about it. Uh. Nothing in the hangar? Right here? I guess one wants to talk. But you know what? I think I'll save that for next time. If you, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, click that stupid fucking bell, blah, 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 you know the drill. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.